In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can import a data set directly into RStudio. Um, so we've talked about how you can enter information, you can enter raw data, uh, either as a variable or as a data frame, but you know, obviously this is not how we normally work with data. Normally you already have data in a spreadsheet that you'd like to just um, upload into RStudio. Um, so you can do that through two ways. Um, one way, which is the one I, I don't typically recommend, but, but usually works, is to import data set um, by clicking this drop down. And the reason I don't always recommend it is because you do have to know what type of data it is, which is, is pretty easy to do. Um, it's almost always going to be um, Excel or text. So, so it's like a CSV file would, would usually um, be through this option. Um, but because I've noticed that students don't always know what type of data file it is ahead of time, um, I recommend actually um, navigating through your computer to find the folder that it's in. Uh, if you just drop the data um, directly into the folder that is your working directory, whatever this default folder is, um, then it's, it's very easy and you're just going to see it listed down here. Um, if it's not um, listed here and you don't know where it is, you might have to navigate, you might have to go up a level um, you know, to go back a folder or move around. Um, but um, obviously if you just save it, to the folder that automatically shows up. That makes it a lot easier um, than having to navigate around, but, but you can certainly do that. Um, so let's say that it's this um, amazon.xlsx data that I wanna import. Um, so this is an Excel file. Um, again, if I'm just gonna click on it here, I can click import data set, and R is already gonna know what type of data set it is um, by figuring it out, whereas that import data set dropdown you would have to be sure to select from Excel for it to work properly. Um, also, I'll mention that the first time you do this, R might prompt you to install a package, probably in this case it would be the read XL package. Um, so if you do get prompted to do that, go ahead and click yes. It will take a few seconds to um, install that package and then this, um, um, this window should pop up. Um, only You only have to do that one time and then from then on every time you try to import a, um, a data set, it should just go straight to here. Um, so, so here we have the data. Um, we have different rows of the data and it's kind of ready for import. You can kind of see what it's gonna look like when it imports. Um, if for any reason you need to change the variable type of any of these variables, um, you can do that here very easily. Um, so you'll notice that um, the, the three that you almost always see are going to be character, numeric, and double. Um, and, and usually it's just gonna be character and double. So character means it's gonna upload as a categorical variable. Double means that it's probably going to import as a numeric variable. And if you um, wanna change something, so perhaps you, have, perhaps you have a numeric variable that's really categorical. Maybe you don't want it to be treated as a continuous variable. Then you can click the drop down and you can change that to character um, and, and that would probably make most sense. Um, but again, in, in our class, I would probably prompt you um, whenever you need to do that um, so that you're not guessing if you need to do that. Um, you would just be told if you need to do that. Um, you can change some other things. You can change the default name of the data, um, but it's not super necessary unless it's just really long or tedious to call on that data name. Um, and then when you're ready, you can go ahead and click import and you'll see it show up here in your global environment as, as data. You'll also um, have it automatically show up in a viewer window. Um, you can just navigate back to your, your script when you're ready. You can, you can delete this if you want, and if you wanna open it back up, you can just click the data again and it's there. Um, and whenever you wanna call on it, so if I wanna make a, um, a plot from the Amazon data, I'm just gonna click, or I'm just gonna type Amazon. You'll also see it kind of as an autofill option since it recognizes that name. Um, you can choose a variable from this and then you can uh, create a plot and hopefully that's it.